That Supreme Court ruling made abortion illegal in Ohio after any fetal cardiac activity is detected. That's six weeks according to Ohio law. But for now, across the border in Indiana, abortion is legal until 22 weeks. And now attorneys for an Indiana doctor have sent a cease and desist letter to that state's attorney general after he accused the doctor of failing to report that she provided abortion care to a child. According to police and court documents, the 10-year-old Ohio girl was raped in early May and was brought to Indiana in late June after the ruling on Roe to receive an abortion. Newsy's Mara Suriani is here with more on how many people, including conservative lawmakers and right-wing media, doubted the validity of this horrific story. Mara. Jay, this has really played out over the past week. This case is drawing lots of attention and some scrutiny as well. But the facts are medical records show Dr. Caitlin Bernard in Indianapolis correctly reported that abortion procedure on the child on July 2nd. That was two days after it was performed. In an Ohio courtroom. The charge is rape. It's only the first degree. A judge charging the 27-year-old Columbus man after police say he confessed to raping a 10-year-old girl on at least two occasions. The 10-year-old rape victim was taken to a hospital in Indianapolis for abortion care after Ohio banned abortions after six weeks following the U.S. Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade. Police in Columbus say the young girl was raped in early May. The arrest and subsequent charges quieting a fire storm of doubt over the validity of details surrounding the horrific crime. I know our prosecutors and cops in this state. There's not one of them that wouldn't be turning over every rock in their jurisdiction if they had the slightest hint that this had occurred. Last Monday, Ohio's Republican Attorney General Dave Yost raised serious doubts the crime even happened and he wasn't alone. Among Republican lawmakers being called out for their comments in a since deleted tweet, Congressman Jim Jordan also claimed the story was a lie. Lawmakers taking aim at the Indy Star's reporting about a doctor who said she helped the little girl get an abortion after she had crossed state lines at six weeks and three days pregnant. Ten years old, raped, six weeks pregnant already traumatized, was forced to travel to another state. Indiana's Republican Attorney General Todd Rokita said he's now investigating whether Dr. Caitlin Bernard, who performed the child's abortion, correctly reported the procedure and child abuse as required by state law. This girl was politicized politicized for the gain of killing more babies. Following Rokita's statements on Fox and to local media, attorneys for Dr. Bernard sent him a cease and desist for casting the doctor in a false light and alleged misconduct in her profession. We want Mr. Rokita to stop lying about Dr. Bernard. Bernard's report to state health officials on July 2nd, two days after the procedure was performed, indicates the pregnancy was the result of the patient being abused. The doctor's attorney maintains she did everything right. Even the barest minimum of homework on his part would have found that that report had been timely done. Following news of the arrest, Yost actually issued a statement. It was one sentence that says, we rejoice any time a child rapist is taken off the streets. Now, other Republican lawmakers apologizing and walking back some of those uh, comments that they believe the story was a hoax. Now, just like we heard uh, the vice president say in Pennsylvania today, some legal experts are now saying that this probably isn't the first time this will create kind of a legal firestorm in the post-row world. Yeah, so much confusion now with this patchwork of... Uh laws now at the state level. Thanks, Mara.